respected justice sir professors anumant raya prasad and senior professors of local bangalore university law college distinguished guests colleagues and friends yes this is my debut novel a question often i have been asked is how did you why did you write this novel so before i start i would like to quote a small paragraph from robert frost i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two road diverge in a wood and i i took the one less traveled by i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference yes i took the road less traveled by and that has made all the difference this road was tough ridden with challenges but however i have this book in front of me after all this experiences i went through many a challenges i faced many a refusal it faced the book a lot of people told me why you write the series land acquisition who will read villagers they don't read english yes in fact they don't read english i kept on telling everyone villager in them everyone has a root of village in them i will write this i wrote this but however uh, there is a big influence in me like how did it start once when i had been to my native native place i was visiting a temple when i was crossing the road i found a guy sitting on a milestone with torn shirt a sort of a destitute and a bermuda shorts a villager he was stretched his hand i just ignored him then he just called me for arms i went back and something stuck to me this guy was he was looking very handsome even though he was aged something stuck to me that i know this fellow i just asked him who are you he did not divulge his identity he kept on asking who are you i told him i am so and so from the village alige aligada the one which i have portrayed in the book then he asked me i told him my father's name then he asked me he said you joined the navy i said Are you that wanting to getting into integrity i said yes then he said one word i hate you he said i, I was i was i was stunned i asked why because you have taken my land you have taken my life and left to me in this state and he just walked off with the tears i was stunned honestly this truth had never appeared to me earlier now i know this man was a rich farmer 20 years back when i was in school there he had a few acres of land only thing he did was he didn't go to continue his studies he was a smart young man those days the only son of a father once his land was lost he had no other options to live because he, had, he was not employable in this modern terms he had no other skills other than farming it was so sad that day i decided yes this is a truth none these people are voiceless they don't have voice we only hear from the other side of the story this is the other side of the story so i have thought i will write this and i have narrated the story from a villager side who has suffered the land acquisition do we need land acquisition do we need development how much development we need how much environment we need this is a very sensitive issue to be talked over